Hello. Hi. Hi. Look how stylish you are. Oh, come in. We you. have thank rose you. spritzers and that's you know whatever. Perfect. Is it okay? Please come perfect. in. Sit sure. Down. Sure. Have a seat. We're presenting you to my hello Isaac audience. This is Gail and Sam, everybody. Gail and Sam. We met because we worked together. We worked together years worked together? and years ago on a lookbook. I think a men's wear lookbook. Where? No, it we met on Target. Target. That's how we met. We met. So he was like literally not even born yet when I met him. I was. How old were you? You were like twenty something. Maybe twenty eight. No. That's ridiculous. Maybe thirty. Because <laughs> now you're like. Now I'm a hundred. How are you related? This is my delicious son-in-law. Right, your delicious son-in-law. I love him. Your son is cute, by the way. Yeah, I have to agree with you. He's Thank very you. Cute. You married well. I you? married well. You married so well. I married for Gail. How did, did you meet Gail before you married your husband? Yes, I met Gail quite soon after Glenn and I started dating. Is she part of the reason why you actually married your husband? Absolutely, you so she's you know, fabulous. And I just became enthralled by her. She's going to blush. But I, I, started, right. I started Instagram storying her. Right. Because she's just fabulous. And That's she without my knowledge, I want you to know. What does that mean? He was, he was, I couldn't imagine every time he was talking to me, he was holding up his phone down here. <laughs> oh, right, without and your I, knowledge. I didn't, oh, okay. I didn't know he was doing anything like that until somebody said, have you looked at Sam's Instagram? <laughs> no, and then she got quite a following. People like yourself became fans of Gail. Exactly. And so it's become a whole thing. I told right. him I'd be his assistant. I'd love to be his assistant, right? When my last assistant left, she said, I'm not going to run around, but I'll answer the phones. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Good, good, I, mean, good. I don't know if we have phones. Oh, anymore. okay. <laughs> right. Hello, Sam Spector and company. I wish right. Gail would nice. sit at a desk Incredible. in the front of my office and just greet people and answer the phones. Right. What are you wearing? What are you wearing? Tell us everything. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> Where'd you get this outfit at Temptations Sorry, like and Merrick? No, 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 no. This hack, very simple. Let's see. Uh, this is uh, Joseph Ribkoff pants and she was uh, Ellie Tahari jacket. Nice. That was Bloomingdale's. I like it. What Always else? goes back to Bloomingdale's. Did you pay full price for the jacket or was it on sale? Uh, <laughs> I mean it. Can I tell you something? I won't buy things on sale. Like, I don't like to buy things. I only like to pay like full price or more than full why? price. I, I don't know why. I think psychologically, it just makes me feel like I'm getting something better and nobody, and no than one what's else on sale. Because I guess the stuff on sale is somehow like, they didn't want it, so like everybody. That's how I feel. That's what I'm saying. But sometimes it's it's a store wide sale. It's not a particular item on sale. Like this jacket wasn't on sale. <laughs> you don't rationalize it was any a sale. Blooming deal. My dad used to make fun of me. He used to tell me I shopped around for the highest price. <laughs> hey, Gail and Sam, I'm going to show you a few flashcards of some fashion trends, and you give us your response. Okay. Okay. Ready? Leggings as pants. You don't like it. No, she wants to cover I all hate the. It. Cover the junk. Okay, she hates it. I I'm hate with it. you. Cover the you. junk. I hate it. And I with heels, it. too. Oh, it's like yes. casual, but I with know. heels. Well, that's but the thing. That's a whole thing. I've been reading about all these celebrities wearing sweatpants with heels to the airport. Well, I don't mind the whole, you know, sort of postmodern mix of things. But Me neither. This just doesn't look good. It just doesn't look good, it's right? It's flattering. All right, here's my other thing. Now, please remember who you're talking to when you respond oh. to this. Flip-flops as accessories with everything, including ball gowns and suits. You hate? I don't wear flip flops. <laughs> what could I tell you? It's, it's not my thing. It's great. It's great for summer wear, and it's great for for the, the beach, shower. and it's great for you know hanging out. It's but great for your college not, dorm not, room going to the shower. You a flip flop on Christy Charlington with like a ball gown skirt and a tank top. Yeah, but she's gorgeous. But so I mean, you so have to, you, have you, to can, just you have to be able to pull it off, don't you? Yeah. Okay, I'm not exactly sure. This is this is like a trend that is mad popular, which is like a sort of a, le a decorated leotard. As clothing, what is do you it festival think? wear? Well, I don't know. It's great or for dinner Beyonce, at... you know, it's fine. But, it is uh, great for Beyonce. Right. Yeah. Yeah, not no. No. Okay. Well, here's something that I think is gone and over. I hope. So I'm not sure why this flashcard exists, but this kind of monster shoe, right? Goodbye. <laughs> it's just it just feels old, right? What do you feel? You like a monster shoe? Uh, it depends. I mean, it's, I think it's, it's moderate. So old. It's moderate, but not not like that. Like even That's Lady even, Gaga can I say shoes. something? But even Lady, Lady Gaga, Gaga is wearing yeah. a kitten heel right, right. now. Yeah. Seriously, right? right? Like yeah. so. It's all about the kitten heel. Yeah, this right. is a bad card to give us. Okay. Right. <laughs> Here's my favorite thing. I love, but I know you're gonna hate again, which is a sweatpant. As you don't like. We just talked about it. I'm not into it. Like even know. if you were just wearing exactly the same thing on the top, that little cute little camisole. 
cute little blazer. twenty percent off blazer from Bloomingdale's, and then like a sweat pant with the heel. I was. She do got it. her loyalist points for it. I could see her doing this. I could see her doing this in like a dressier, like maybe if the sweat pant were cut in some kind of like a like a washed silk. So why aren't you into it? Because I, I've never been into sweatpants. It's a, I wouldn't take it if I don't wear it for casual wear. I certainly wouldn't wear it to go out of the house. I do that sometimes when I'm, you know, cleaning the bathroom or something. I, have to put on <laughs> I think she would prefer like going the other way, like cleaning the house in a tiara. I something, think right? so too. Not quite. Exactly. Not quite. Okay. Right. Here's something that I can't get. So maybe you guys like it. You ready? Which is this kind of that ripped up jean thing. I, I, I don't mind it. I like it. For, I like what if it. you were a millennial? Would you go for this? Would yeah, you kind of get? You I would. would. You I would. Probably would. You I like the deconstruction would. of this. Yeah, you but like not the... not quite as open. There's you know this there's, there's, there's ripped and there's ripped. Right. There's, 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 there's ripped and over, there's ripped. There's over ripped. Here's my last and final one, and this is this is a unisex one, even though it's a man, but this whole sort of onesie oh, sort of romper. situation. Romp him. It's called a romp him now. Uh, what is yes? it called? Romp him. Because it's a male. There's like a whole brand right, called right. Rompem, I think. Is there? Right. Yeah, well, you know, I Andy Cohen did it. Call it that, I hate it. I think it's cute. I for like pride. It. I you like too? it. Yeah. First of all, you have to have the perfect body for that. Right. Really, and not every man could wear that. So, so your son Glenn or Sam, what if they were in a Rompem? They could. They could both wear it because they're both built well enough for that to wear. But yeah. you know, this has inspired a whole trend. Also, have you noticed there's like shorts and tops that match that aren't attached? But yes. it, that is the inspiration for that, yes. just so you all know. Okay, well, I'm glad. I oh. like that little bit of fashion history. Mm -hmm. Know your history, children. Yeah, know right. your history. That was, it started like a week ago. Exactly, <laughs> and will end in about a week. I hope by so. The, by the time I, this I airs, truly it will be over. By the way, by the time this airs, all those trends will be over and gone. So, like, forget what we ever spoke about them. Let's hope.